Hello everyone and welcome back to Meadow Grove. We're going to be finishing off the baling. I've done one paddock, um, so there's still three to go. So we'll go ahead and grab the baler, which is just sitting over here in one of the gateways. Uh, we do have to buy another tractor, so we'll probably talk a bit more about that at the towards the end of the video. But for now we just got these three paddocks that need baling. So we'll get into them now. With the big crone. Um, I hope everyone's having a good night or day. It's been a pretty chaotic day for me, so I'm pretty happy to be just sitting here and hanging out with you guys. She's already a bale. Perfect stuff. I've kind of had a bit of a thought about these grass bales. That's reverse. Um, I'm thinking about actually maybe turning them into silage, sausage silage. So I mean that's a thought. I haven't quite made up my mind, I'll probably make my mind up once I see how many bales we kind of have and stuff like that, but that's kind of the path I'm on now is I'm thinking about doing some sausage silage with these bales. So I think that's a really good idea. I um. I bailed that paddock right there in front of us. Can't remember what number that is, but we got six bales in there, which isn't too bad. And then we got the 2,400 litres left over, and then that just bailed that other one. So, you know, we got six and a half, I guess, out of there, which wasn't too bad, to be honest. Uh, so, back on to the talking about getting a new tractor, though. So, at the moment, we only have the John Deere, the 6M that I'm currently driving. So we do need another tractor or two. I haven't quite decided if we'll just get one or two. But at the moment on the tables, on the table, we don't have multiple tables I guess, um, is a Deutz. So that's on the table is a Deutz to buy. No, nope, we're not quite full, but there we go. A uh, Deutz, a New Holland, and another John Deere I think. I think they were the three options. I have to look at the shop after we've finished bailing. But um, I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think. and I kind of would like you guys to choose maybe which tractor we get for our next one. Just one of them. So if there's a tractor out of them, I'll show them at the end which ones we can afford. And if there's one that you guys like, you know, let me know in the comments and whatnot. And tell me what you guys would prefer. Um, so yeah, we're in the market probably for two new for two other tractors. Um, the New Holland is a brand new one, the Deutz is second hand and the John Deere that I'm looking at is second hand as well. So keep that in mind, but I'll, I'll definitely show them at the end of the video which ones we're looking at. Not doing too badly here, we've got a few bales already in this paddock. Just a few. I don't know what everyone prefers. I prefer to do this in first person, but some people like it third, and I, I like doing it in third as well, but I like first person, so I'm trying to do a bit of both for everyone, so I hope that's okay. The um, 6M, she's got a bit over, nearly four and a half hours on it now, so she's definitely getting a workout. Stuffed up the camera view a little bit there. Close that. Beautiful pond right there. Lower that. I've also brought a harvester. I did end up buying the John Deere, the smaller John Deere harvester, I think it is. Yeah, the smaller one. So I brought that. I brought a, a smaller kind of timber trailer as well. I brought a cedar and a cultivator as well. They're all down at the um, the sheds and that down at the other part where you put all your um, seeds and all that. So, or all your grains, I should say, once they're harvested. So that's all kind of sitting down there, so hopefully I can get a video doing something with them soon. I think that'd be cool. Um, I also... It was an oat paddock, I'm pretty sure. 
So I baled the grains down there as well that were left over the stroughs or whatever you people want to call them. Um, so I baled that. I think for memory... I think it was 30 bales, but I could be wrong. I think it was 30. It was 29 or 30. Because that one's totaled up the ones that I've done now as well. So I th I'm pretty sure it was 29 or 30 that I created. So there's some straw bales sitting down there that will have to be picked up. I've moved them over to the side of the paddock so I can cultivate it. But they'll have to be picked up and put in a barn or something very soon. But, um, yeah, that was not a bad... We got a pretty good harvest in there. I think we ended up with uh, nearly 30,000 litres, I'm pretty sure it was, out of the paddock. So, not too bad at all. It was pretty good. Pretty happy with that quantity I was. It's not selling for the greatest price at the moment, so I haven't bothered selling it. We'll wait for the price to be a bit better. Lift that up, turn that off. So that's one, that's two paddocks down. Go ahead and move into the paddock next door, and then there's the one next door to that, and then all the baling is done. I am using a keyboard, guys. I think I told you that in the last video, but my side panel and steering wheel has been playing up a lot in single player for some reason. It works perfectly fine in multi in um, on the de on my dedicated server. On the dedicated server, it runs perfectly. But just in single player for some reason it, the hydraulic hoses stick on and stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm just not really using it for this. I'm just using the keyboard. I did plug in my controller but that was having issues as well. So I decided to just stick with the keyboard. I know what I'm doing. It just means the steering's very like this. It looks a bit bad but I think we can all live and deal with that. But um... I'm going to get into this baling, and I'll probably talk to you guys once, um, once I've done the whole lot, I reckon. And we just overshot that by a mile. So we'll just back that up. And, yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're nearly done, uh, done this paddock anyway, there's just the one more to go. We've got some, some pretty nice bales in here, I think there's probably at least 15 maybe already. Unfortunately that one I did towards the beginning, it rolled down into the fence, didn't quite roll how I wanted it, but you know, what are you going to do, it happens sometimes in real life as well, seen it happen plenty of times on the farm, so that does happen unfortunately. So yeah, we're nearly done this paddock though, there's just this row, we'll get that last little bit there as well. And then we've just got the paddock over there behind those trees to go. Which shouldn't take too long, that's a smaller kind of paddock. I'm pretty sure this is probably the biggest one out of them all. But yeah. Another thing I'd like to know guys, what are your thoughts on this map? You know, why don't you go ahead and just tell me in the comments as well. Feel, feel free to comment, I'll try and get back to you if I can when I get time and stuff. Um, I'm always happy to chat to people who want to have a chat and like have a decent chat, not just ask why don't I play OCRP or something. That's not really a chat. But um, if you just want to know something or where I got a mod or something, then feel free to ask. Be more than happy to try and help. Um, most of the mods that I do use are in my Discord. We Every mod I use or Jeremy uses or something, we always just post it in the farming channel. So. Feel free to join the Discord and ask for the farming role and you will then have access to the, see the mods that we use and stuff. And I didn't turn the baler on, that's always a good thing. But yeah, I personally really love this map though. Um, Nathan did an amazing job. I'm, I'm really liking it so far. But um, let's see how many bales we can get out of this paddock as well. 
starting to get a little darker. I mean, it's not dark, but it's getting a little darker near the, like in the shade where the trees are, which is kind of cool. I reckon we'll probably get maybe 30 to 40 grass bales, so that's not too bad. It's not a bad harvest, which is pretty good. Looks like we're about to have another one here on the headland. Yep. Very happy with the um, amount of bales that we've got so far. Because these are quite small paddocks, so I wasn't really expecting anything massive in terms of a huge quantity of them. So I'm pretty happy with what I've seen so far. Which is a very, very good thing. A little bit over the... We just shot over that a little bit there, but that's not too bad. That bale's going to roll as well. He'll just have to roll. I had a look at milk prices earlier. It's selling for about $1,500 a thousand litres. And unfortunately, we don't have any cows. But um, that's a pretty good price. So I'm hoping that price might stick around a bit. And once we get some cows, we can start making a bit of money. Especially if it's selling for that, that kind of money. So I'm thinking what we might do eventually... I might do it in a stream or in the next video or two. Um, we might buy maybe five cows and we might also buy maybe five sheep, depending on how much money we have and how much the sheep are. Because um, I just think we need, we need to start there and we might as well start small. And I don't mind buying cows, but if we start off with like five sheep, they can just reproduct and, you know, we can start gradually getting an extra one by one the natural way which I think is a pretty good idea so but that's also another thing I forgot though we've got to keep in mind I can't remember how much the sheep yard costs I think that was we might as well have a quick look what do you reckon this was the sheep I'm pretty sure $75,000 for the sheep pasture which isn't too bad to be honest we could nearly we might even be able to get a loan. I don't know. Depends on how much money we spend on tractors and stuff and some other machinery. We do need some other machinery as well, so... Yeah. Or... We could just start off with... Because um, we already own the cows, so we might as well start off with the cows and get them kind of situated, maybe. Might be the best thing to do. I think that's what we might do. We might just start off with some cows. Especially because we've already got some of the feed. So I think that might be the best thing to do. Alrighty guys, we're almost done with the baling. We just got this row here and that little bit there on the left. And we will officially be done for the for the night of baling anyway. Which will be good. Be one less job we have to do. Try and get as much of this as we can. I think we're just gonna miss a little bit there. There is a fair bit of grass, I think, just laying around the edge of the paddock, so we might just quickly dart up and try and get some of that just to create a... See if we can create a full bale here. We'll have to listen to the beeper on the baler. Just get this little bit here. See if that can give us a full bale, maybe. I don't think it will. I think we'll just pop it out. I don't think it matters too much. Not too fast. Go ahead and shut that off. I think the old baler could do with a bit of a wash. She's looking a bit dirty. We might race over and just do that very quickly. I think even the John Deere could do with a little bit of a wash, to be honest. Not sure how many bales we ended up with. Let's have a quick look. 
66, so we had, I think we had 29, to be honest. Pretty sure there was 29, so that's roughly a total of 37 grass bales, which isn't too bad. We might try and keep maybe five of them as grass, and we might just wrap the others. I think that's what we might just do. To be honest, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Are we going to hit that? Probably. Probably a yes. Just give everything a quick rinse before we chuck it back in the shed. PTO is a little dirty. That's what we want to get really clean. Probably give this a service another day before we use it again at least anyway. Just give the John Deere a bit of a rinse. Doesn't have to be spotless, just give it a bit of a rinse down. Kind of show it that we love it a little bit. And that'll do. It's a bit of a rinse. It's a bit of a rinse, it'll do. Right, so we'll just chuck this baler in the um in the shed up here. If we just turn this way. It's on 48%, so we'll give it a service the next time we go to use it, I think. I think if we do that we should be fine. We'll just put this in this bay here. I think we might hit that post maybe. No, we might be good. We might be just good. We'll drop that there. Alright. So, while we're on the topic of the shop, we're going on the topic of the shop I should say. So this is the T6 series. So, I'll probably get it, if I was to buy it, it would be 175 horsepower. Uh, it would have the front end loader probably, so it's going to be $128,500, okay? So that's option one. So here's where you guys get to have a bit of a say, so that's option one. Uh, option two is the Deutz, 142 horsepower. I don't know why it goes, I think that's just an issue with the shop. Um, so that's 142 horsepower uh, front end loader. This is second hand, keep in mind. It's going to be $114,800, okay? So that's option two. That is a mod, of course. So that's option two. Option three is the John Deere. So we're going to have... Uh, let's have a look. What am I looking at? No. Here it is. So, this is option three. So, this is the older John Deere. It's going to be $124,000 all up. Okay, so, that's option three. So, option three is the John Deere, the 6920. 124000 Option two is the Deutz. I drive one of these, this exact model in real life, unfortunately. I mean, it, it, they're okay. They go pretty fast. That's about it. Um, so that's option two. And then option three is the New Holland. So um, go ahead and choose whichever one you want. Uh, have a comment about it. And I will try and get back to you. And whichever one has probably the most comments or something, I'll buy. But um, I'm looking to buy a new tractor hopefully tomorrow. So quick I guess but the, yeah they're the new tractor options um, now we do also need at the shop some stuff so some bailing technology we're gonna spend a little bit of money here we need a bale trailer I think this could work what sort of wheels can we put on it yeah, those wheels will probably do. We need a small bale trailer, and this is pretty cheap. 8,500, that's kind of what we want. I don't know if we want them. I think we could do without them. Yeah, I think we could. What's this? Number plates. I don't know what number plate to go. I don't know, we'll just go with that for now. I don't know. Isn't this a UK? We'll just go UK. 
I don't know. France, I don't know. We'll just go with that. Um, so, yeah, we need one of these trailers. I mean, it's only $8,000, so we'll take that. We also will need a... To do our silage, so we will buy one of these wrappers as well. And I think, I'm pretty sure that's all that we need from the shop. The extractor was 34 gram, which is okay. And while we're at the shop though, we just need to check if there's anything else I need. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. So we're just gonna duck down to the shop and we'll grab the bale trailer. Turn the beacon on and we'll head down to the shop really quick. But yeah, we're trying to save some money, but we're, you know, you got to spend some money to make money as well. So always keep that in mind. But we're going to head down to the shop, guys, and we'll probably pick up the bale trailer. So I will talk to you guys once we get there. All right, guys, we're just pulling up here at the shop now. Looks like they've got our... Stuff that we just ordered over the phone already set up out here for us, so that's perfect. Uh, I think we'll take the bale trailer first. We'll pick up the X tractor another time. The bale, moving the bale somewhere is more of a priority, so let's get this going. Make sure all the lights flash on that. Lights flash, perfect. Brake lights work. Tail lights work. I hear a plane or something overhead. I don't see it. It's very obnoxiously loud though. We'll come out of the shop and we'll head back down to the bales. Alright guys, we're just pulling back up here at the dairy. We'll make a left here, I guess. I mean, where else are we going to go, right? Uh, I think we'll go to the paddock closest to the house to begin with. I think it's probably going to be the best option. Probably shut off the beacon now. We're not on the main road. We're kind of on our private, more our private sort of road, so that's okay. Now, we don't want to park this trailer on a hill because the last thing we want is it to roll down. It's so probably here somewhere is probably going to be the best option to put it. Probably right there, I reckon. So we'll sit that there. It is getting pretty late. I think it's like, what, 4 p.m. or something? So I think that's. You know, we've done a hard day's work. I think it's pretty much knock-off time, so we might just sh shut the tractor off here, and we might head home, have some afternoon tea. What do you guys reckon? I think that sounds pretty good to me. But um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the bailing. I, I enjoyed bailing, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Also, remember to, you know, comment your vote about which tractor we should buy for our next tractor for the farm, so that's very important to have a say about, okay? But um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.